All right, so let's create some of our own tab stops here. So a couple things. One, I've got the number 10 Word Tabs document open in front of me. Again, make sure you download this and follow along with me. It's part of the previous lecture. Uh, and two, let's make sure that the ruler is turned on. And as a reminder, I went to View, top of my screen, View, and I activated the ruler. All right, I'm going to scroll down inside the document. I'm going to get to this section called Try It Below. This is where I'm going to have you do a little bit of practice. So first off, let's recreate that contact list that's just directly up above. So I'm just going to type in contact here, contact list. Let's make it look the same. Contact list. Hit my enter key. I'll drop down a line. Maybe I want to format that. I'll just make it bold. Control B being your bold shortcut key. And now I want to start creating these two columns, name and email, and put in my entries. Maybe we'll add a third column just to mix it up. We'll do like position or department or whatever we want to put over there. All right, so first one, I'm going to put name in there. I'll go ahead and type in name. Now, if I hit my tab key right now, this is just default behavior inside of a Microsoft Word document. I tap tab. It only moves me just a little bit. Let me actually turn on, if I go to my home tab and activate the paragraph markers or the formatting markers, you can see I hit my tab key, it's got that little arrow in there. But you'll notice up here, there's a lot more space in between those tabs that I used here. Default behavior inside of a Word document, the tab key just wants to move you half an inch. Well, I want to go much further than that. So let me delete that tab, I'll backspace back out. Now with my ruler active, on the far left, I see my current tab stop, or the specific type of tab stop that I'm currently going to use. This is called a left align tab stop. Now I'm going to leave it just at that for right now, but just know that there are a handful of different types of tab stops, and they really deal with alignment. But for right now, we're going to use a left align tab stop. I'm going to go ahead and move over to the two inch marker of my ruler and I'll click once, just a normal left click. And that places my tab stop. I've now got that little L denoting the left align tab stop. So now I come back down where I got name at. I'll tap my tab key once and that hops me all the way over to that two inch marker and I can put an email. Now, if I hit my tab key again, it's now back to just that little half inch marker to the closest inch or half inch marker inside the ruler. Now, I want to be able to move all the way over. Let's say I want to move all the way over to the four inch or let's say four and a half inch. So let me backspace that back out. Again, I got my left align selected. I'll go to the four and a half inch mark. I'll click once and I'll place that left align tab stop again. Tap my tab key and let's put position in here. There we go. I've got my two tab stops, one at the two inch mark and one at the four and a half inch mark. And each time I hit my tab key, depending on where I'm at or where I've already within the ruler, it'll jump me to the appropriate spot. Now let's continue this list. I'll hit my enter key, drop down a line. Let's put somebody in there. I'm just gonna repeat the same. I'll say Joe. Tab jumps me over to the email. So here's Joe at center.com. Hit my tab key again. Joe is at the uh, center position. Hit my enter key. And I can keep going with this list, inserting all these individuals into my contact list. And now I've got this nice clean layout, right? Consistency. Hit my tab key, jumps me over to the two inch. Hit my tab key again, jumps me to the four and a half inch. Now, if you've ever created a list like this and used your space bar or multiple tabs, you can maybe get something like this, but it's going to take a lot of work. And you're going to get inconsistency in how many spaces or how many tabs you're pressing to get to a specific spot. Here, I know I hit once, it gets me to the two inch. I hit it again, it gets me to the four and a half inch. Nice and clean. So try this out. Keep going with the list. Add some additional individuals in there. Maybe add another tab stop. Do uh, email, name, position, and do age. Whatever you want to do in there. Try something out. Get a feel for working with the ruler 
and the left align tab stop.